Liberia heads to the polls on October 10 to replace outgoing President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, Africa's first elected female head of state. With only one woman out of 20 candidates running for the top job, her successor will likely be a man, as were most lawmakers with women making up only 16% of approved candidates for parliamentary seats. Irrespective of how many women won or win or lose, women have got to stay in the race and women have got to stay in the political on the political landscape. And I will encourage women, as many women as possible, to stay the course and not be deterred because one didn't win over here, you never know which one of us is gonna win. The stereotype that a woman's place is in the home still permeates Liberian society and limits women's involvement in public life. Another stereotype is, what more do the women want? There's a perception that because we've had uh, a female president in Liberia, that everything has been handled. Salif has said she owes her victories in 2005 and 2011 to women coming out in force to vote for her. But some see troubling signs that it is getting tougher for women to replicate her success. We are at the crossroads where there, there is potential backlash in terms of women getting into formal politics in a country, women being elected in a country. It is cause to worry. While Sully's male vice president Joseph Boca is looking to replace her, the outgoing president says she will actively campaign for the handful of female candidates contesting the elections.